Hey everybody, this is JP Firepledge bringing you guys a new gameplay series. I was about to say Genshin and we are not doing Genshin. What we are doing today is we're going to revive a game I've had my eye on for several, several years that I actually never played. I was an immense fan of the first Prey game, the one with the, um, the Native American influence and the bows and the gravity inducing puzzles and such like that. I know this game has nothing to do with that game pretty much, but it just shares the name. <laughs> but I've been want I'm gonna keep my eye on this. Went on Steam sale for the autumn sale and I had to pick it up. And I wanted to try and share it with you guys, because this is my first time through it. I thought maybe you guys may have skipped this as well. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in. We're gonna be playing Prey today. Okay, so we're gonna be jumping in this, get in new game. And we'll be in slot one. This is my first time through completely. I haven't actually played this at all. So, I think we will go through on, this is my first time playing this, so I will be doing normal, I think. It's a set of weapon modifier, uh, modifiers, oh, uh, this makes all these, okay, let's just go through those normals. Let's go through normal as we uh, want to, mm, we want to do, let's do the guy, I'm a guy, obviously. I'll be quiet through the um, story bits, but other than that, we'll be commentating as we go through. So, and we got a cutscene coming up, so y'all enjoy it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Alright, so it looks like our brother just talked to us. I'm just figuring the controls out a little bit real quick. I can pick out some things. Plastic tubing. It says I can mouse one to throw. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Eat my booze. Just a little mem memo of some kind. Okay, G to search. And, uh, let me just take all. Nothing, nothing. Take that. Get on it. Oh, okay. I can't carry the refrigerator yet, is what that says. It's kind of awkward getting used to the controls. It's always like kind of like new game comes up and it's like you have to kind of uh, <laughs> learn everything from scratch again. This is me really exciting. I've actually never played a uh, FPS type game on my channel before, if I don't remember correctly. I don't think I'm going to read all of these. Yeah, I was playing some games too. Yeet. <laughs> Take a little shower, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Dirty boy. <laughs> just leave all the all the water on. That's a good that's a good thing to do when you're uh leaving your house. Just leave all the water on. And the door is jammed, can't get out through that way. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw our suit on. What's in this? So are we, I guess we're Chinese, throw that, don't need that, <laughs> alright let's go ahead and grab the suit, first day on the job, okay, so we gotta get to the helicopter, let's go on ahead. Morning, Mr. Yu. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Okay. Must be for you. Go ahead and hit that roof. 
We got two options, my floor and the roof. Man, this game is really cool looking. I had actually looked and um, I decided not to do a mods run. Uh, I was potentially going to do that the first time, just uh, change some of the lighting and stuff like that. But I wanted to let y'all see this game as it is in the eye settings and whatnots. Let's hop on this helicopter. A lap of luxury awaits us. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. That's great. I like that title drop right there for the Bethesda. They're gonna do that a lot. That's a pretty neat little trick for them. That's a nice view on the bay there. <laughs> Arcane Studios. It's got Bethesda and Arcane. Looks like we got another one coming up here in a second. I think I saw it out the corner of my eye. Fancy, fancy. I wish I could take a helicopter to work every day. <laughs> it would make the commute much quicker. Uh, there's the title drop. Pray. Really like that font too. Good font pick. What's out this window? Oh, oh okay. Here we are, Mr. Yu. It's gonna disappear. Mind as soon the glass as we look on back. the way out. Good luck yeah, to you. Alright. So Hello, Dr. Q. Jump. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Everyone's right. eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. I am Our well. research often requires intense focus Bye. and more well, powers. I can provide you with a you psychoactive a stimulant after the test. Appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Confirm. I cut the robot off. We got we got to go work. Come on. Put on my plumber's cap. Go in there and fix some pipes. Whatever I do here. Morgan! Finally! Hefty boy, what's up? Talk to me? I approached him too quickly. Hey. Ooh. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but... It's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. I'm sure we'll be I am. Next week. I promise. Yes, testing facility. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. You got working on. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Do I have to get checked in? Can you give me a badge or something? Can I talk to you? I wish I could show you what I've been working on. There's a med kit behind you. That's a little worrying. <laughs> this, I'll, like, you guys can just pause this if you want to read them. I'll probably just pick them up and then uh, you guys can read them at your leisure. Alright buddy, what's up? Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Go, get out of here. Wonder. <laughs> That's, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. 
I missed the prompt too. I was so focused on kicking him. <laughs> All right, what is this going to be? Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. All right, what do I do? Hiding. Morgan, we can see you there. There you hmm. go. Uh, any synaptic register? I pick it up. At all? <laughs> no? No, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. I was C. used to control being the... We're doing marvelous. Control being crouched. I was over here trying to hit, like, C. Wants me to hit C instead. Right. It's this next one. All right. Let me know, boss. Here we go. For this test... Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I'm doing too good on the exactly test. exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Did I do it in eight seconds? Rick is lightning this one. Let me in. I'm ready for the next test. I gotta check some emails. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Two steps ahead of you. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Got it, boss. Planning a new vacation, go somewhere familiar you know or love, or try something new. Let's try something new. Uh, good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Like my answer? You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does it make you feel? Um, it was worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Hey, you're asking the questions. Runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. This is that old uh, moral quandary. I guess you gotta switch the tracks. Good. Next. Runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're staying on the platform. Yep, it's the fat man one where it's like they uh, ask you to essentially do the exact same scenario except you're not indirectly the train is still killing somebody now you're killing somebody mm, let's stay with my stay with my answer almost done R runaway drain is bearing down five people tie the track you can stop the train by b jumping onto the track but you would die push the fat <laughs> hey dude, that's consistent with my previous answers hmm this is this is probably somewhat reminiscent to the story. I'm assuming. I think I'm the man on the tracks, so I guess uh, push the fat man. <laughs> you know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Bet you would. You look like you would. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Uh -huh. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh, where's my coffee? It's empty. Security! Okay. Dr. Man got attacked and we're gassed out. Give me the good stuff. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. 
Got it. Something sinister underneath the system, it would seem. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. I see, I see. Like the remote, like we do every morning. Go and we put on our nice little suit. Go over here, we pick up the stuff. I wonder if I have it in my inventory still, if I'm just collecting things. Maybe I got more emails. Six emails now, not... Oh, danger leave now, danger leave now, danger leave now. And this guy just does not know how to write. You didn't put a subject, or he put a subject, I guess. The danger leave now. It's a subject. Didn't CC my boss. Didn't even leave a little uh, what do you call it? Signature behind. And somebody's gonna have to talk to this guy about his office etiquette. This is not professional at all. Can't carry the couch. Disappointing. Worst game ever. Zero out of five. Oh, turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Turn on all the all the faucets. This is gross. It's actually pretty disgusting looking. <laughs> Give me my wine. At least we got everything in the cabinets back. I must have emptied my pockets out before I went to bed. Okay, so you can just hit F on him. You don't actually have to, like, open it. What about the closet, though? What? Okay. Alright, we're still Chinese. That's good. They can't take that from me. They can take my memories. They can take my life. Alright, I'll turn this light off though. What's going on? Ooh, God. That's freaky. V to toggle the flashlight. Good God. Hello, Morgan. Holy shit. Time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. God. What disgusting. happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. This breakout, so I guess. Mm. Ah, had a feeling. I might have to switch to a uh, controller, actually. This feels kind of awkward. Playing this. Ooh. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Creepy. There's some Groundhog Day stuff. They got all my wine here. They got like a mock-up of like things in my room in case something goes wrong. Ooh, this is kind of weird. I like it. Let's see if there's anything else around the outside. This is the door. Back to where I was. It was locked from the other side over this way. I can swing whenever, but I have a stamina bar, it looks like. Can't guard or anything, it looks like. Can't carry that. It's the utilities. Pigeon test? Oh, it's making it look like pigeons are coming by. That's my daily activities. They got me down to a science. Yeah, this is so weird. Like, you got little, like, uh, not, it's not goosebumps or anything like that, but it's like, this is like some self medicated Groundhog Day stuff. It's a simulation of all the things that I saw on my way in here. Okay, so the wrench is the Hephaestus. Ah, there you go. Nice little reference there. Hefe, rent, twist, and loop handle wrench. Standard issue for all maintenance personnel and put at transfer facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive. Maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use left click to swing and left click hold it to charge attack. Drains on stamina. All right, so we got swing, charge. Ah, I backhand him. Can't see the safe code. I just brute force it. 
I could probably brute force it. No password. These guys. It's the worst kind of office etiquette here. They're over here putting their own passwords all over the place. Oh, okay, that is the open wheel. Good to know that. <laughs> there you go. Mistaken, bad install. Nope. Got anything for me that's about your uh, safe here? Yeah, I'll get the controls down after this first part. Or if that's a, it's gonna bug y'all playing this game from like five years ago. Don't know how to play it yet. <laughs> this is cool though. I'm gonna grab all this wire I can while I'm here. Emergency phone. Try oh. Hot, hot. <laughs> Get him. Ah, this is another roof. Back here? What's this? Oh, this is where I would have gone if I had gone this way. What is that? It's a question mark. It's mimic, because he's a mimic tumor. So, I'm not sure why they hid that from me. I don't even remember the pilot's name. Nice. Thanks, Johnny. Doing a great job here. Let's go ahead and take that man. Yeah. Alright, so. Business. Quick select. Okay. And then the quick select is me clicking that in. Okay, so I can heal myself and whatever the other ones are. I'm not sure what this E and C is up here. Keep trying to do that. Reset this Error 404 over here. It sets up to the, uh, where it was in the first place. People shaking. Back. Utilities. Scene selection. And test management. Reset the test rooms and... Rooftop entrance. Yep, switches around, so now it's uh, where we met the little robot. Yeah, this is very uh, Groundhog Day, very creepy. I like it. I might, um, I might do that, uh, oh. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Anything could be a mimic. I'm just hovering over those. If you guys want to read them, you can. I'm not going to be reading all that stuff. That's me way too much here. If it's like an audio log, we'll listen to it, obviously, but it's uh, just something. Oh, okay. I kind of want to fight it. I want it to come to me. You come to me, bud. All right, I'll come to you. Beat that ass. Beat that ass. <laughs> I want the... I'm sure I'll need the parts eventually. All right, so D is where I was at, actually. Previously. Can't use the Rorschach test. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. And just so you guys know, this is not going to be 100% playthrough if you haven't already couldn't already tell. I, uh, I have precious little idea what I'm doing at the moment. So if you guys see something and you want to comment on what you would like me to do, or if you have a certain couple of things you think uh, need to be seen, Please steer me in the correct direction, because otherwise we will be lost together for most of this playthrough. I'm gonna check something real quick. Okay, there we go. No! Go away! Ah, the rain is not very far on this. I mean, it is a wrench. Sorry, I was just checking out how to, uh, how to, how to sprint. Come on, let's go. No one gets left behind. This is obviously a mimic. Because it's bouncing like a mimic. 
don't know if y'all saw that thing jumping around. This could be a mimic. <laughs> this could be a mimic. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Uh, looking at the simulations. Changing it up to the roof. Cool. The other one is power. Maybe I gotta turn the power off or something like that. And I break all the mugs I can. Turn off the looking glass. That's really cool. Oh, the looking glass. Yeah, I paused it for a second to find out how to sprint. It did not tell me that in the uh, unless it told me that uh, in one of the tutorials and I missed it. Oh. Oh, my <laughs> oh my. Morphing. Oh, he's dividing. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Yeah, I saw him coming around here still. Okay, 90 is my max health. Alright, it's so only simulation approved items beyond this point. Let me creep in. I know there's some guys and some boys around here. All these emails, urgent. The corpse vanishes. Okay, so, th so there's actually like things in here. That I'll need to be like aware of in these uh, emails. Interesting. It's kind of cool. And your way. Okay, so I can either look for a key card or I can go through the ducks. Ooh, so there's multiple different ways for me to tackle these. So I can either look around here and try and find the key card, look through emails and stuff like that, or I can just go and go straight into the ducks and just see where that takes me. I'm assuming there's positive and negatives for each direction I go, each place I decide to take myself. This is the Pothamore. I mean, Bellamy is as an error. Can't hack it. You're right in it. Oh, okay, I didn't realize I could harvest that. I just decided to break it. More stuff. I don't trust these mugs. <laughs> yeah, here, mug. Alright, this is Mr. Bellamy. Steal all his plants. Break him while he's down. So there's four in here. Probably all gonna attack me at the same time. He got here. I didn't go somewhere. This is all my answers. What do they have to say about it? The player of the prize, first time. Reference. Point and ability to get results. Oh, it's exhaustion. Okay, they've been putting me through this for a while then. It's crazy. Oh, okay, Let's grab more plants out of this guy's room. I like that I'm just like stealing plants out the lobby. So I'm gonna open this. See what happens. Thing does not look friendly. Hi, buddy. Probably can't hurt me yet. <laughs> that was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. I want to try going through here too. Yeah, it was worth it. Got stuff. So this is basically the exact same either way. Skill recorder analysis. Pausing if you guys want to read that. I like this though. I imagine on a harder difficulty, it's actually pretty tense. What's this? This is 
the Gugu canister. Anything else for me, man? Okay, cool. Transtar glue gun. Glue cannon, sorry. Disables and immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames. If you stop electrical arcs, it uses a platform. So I can tap it to shoot and then hold down a continuous fire. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. There's mimic quartz. I was like, I thought there was something else here. Some mimics. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. 360. This is a very Bioshock. It's really cool. All right, there's one more. I remember seeing it. Where'd he go? There he is. I'll try and get him from behind. Luga. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I break this? Yeah, okay. I can break it. Sir, are you alright? I'll be hanging out on the job. I'm sure, I, my brother owns this place. I'm gonna uh, have to ask you to get back to work. Is this okay? So this requires some sort of like hacking. It's a weird looking box. Do I have an inventory? I do. Okay, cool. The things stack. This is health points. Health points. Am I out of health right now? Uh. Huh. Split. Eat this. Eat this. Okay, I have suit integrity as well. I can't just, like, take a beating for forever. More plants. Oh, they took them all. No, they gave me more than I got last time. <laughs> Fuck this pottery. Can't trust pottery anymore. This is just screw up these people's lives, the game. They move so weirdly. They're like erratic. The weapon switching to the... I wonder if it's faster to do it this way. Now he still just takes forever to pull his stuff out. Because the glue cannon doesn't actually seem to do any damage. It just freezes them in place. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this. Stop lollygagging around. Take this Neuromod. The Neuromod is a revolutionary Transtar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and act to navigate to the Neuromod section. Okay. Let's do that. It would be a scientist, engineer, and security. If this is anything like Deus Ex, which is another game you guys should probably go check out sometime soon, it's probably. This is like. Med kits are better. Bypass security. This is hacking. Recover. Oh, this is the stuff we can't get yet from the, from the mimic corpses. Boosts, better mid kits, security 2, security 3, security 4, leverage, pick up heavy things, pick up even heavier things, oh, and you can brute force doors, that's cool, throwing da objects will damage enemies, this is like if you don't have ammo, repair, which we saw something in the back there where we could repair actually, we're not in survival mode, so we don't have to worry about that. Open upgrades beyond number one. Pulverize. Attacking with a wrench has better chance to do more damage. This is like rent this is like unarmed essentially. Oh, 
Wow, this is cool. So it makes it so those kits make you uh, fully upgrade your weapons. Okay, so this is inventory space, inventory space, inventory space. And breakdown equipment for spare parts. This is kind of useful right here, these ones. This would be nice to have. Increased health. Combat focus, stealth. 10% damage, unaware, sprinter without making noise. I don't think this game is going to have that much stealth in it, really. They gave it as mechanic, but I didn't really see where I could stealth past these guys, because they sneak up on me. Maybe on harder difficulties. It's a lot better to do that. Jump incredibly high. That's kind of cool. This game probably has some really game-breaking things you can do with it. Let's do hacking for now. Ugh. Oh my god. I think. Ugh. That's disgusting. Why would you? Why would? Ugh. Improvisation has always been your strength. Ugh. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. That's actually disgusting. Why? I feel like you're not supposed to like. All right, we knew we could hack this, so let's see how the hacking works. Hacking, bypass things, use Wazda to move around. Now I gotta get to this exit point. You know, actually, I was looking through the mods list. Ooh, this has like some weird bounce to it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I had an F at the end of that. Up an upgrade. Anything else in here or just that? What's this? Bring turrets up to fabrication. No password. Level 2 needed. Fuck you, cup. Okay. This isn't a turret. I guess if we wanted, to, if we had done repair, we could have done this one. Which we don't have it have anymore. Unfortunately. I wonder if I could glue gun my way all the way up to top. Let me look real quick. How high does this go? Am I on solid ground? Uh, I probably could. Let's try. See if I can't not, hopefully I don't break the game. It's like you're not supposed to be able to do this. Oh, me too. Not enough ground to walk on. Hey, who needs repair? <laughs> who needs it? And my handy dandy glue gun the trash. Spare parts. I don't think I can use those yet. Packing four. Wow, what's behind here? Application. Okay. Can't carry the table. Why would you need to carry this stuff? I kind of like, it seems kind of useless. I guess if you wanted to like stack them, but the glue gun kind of just makes the table for you, essentially. The person sleeping on the job. I'll take that banana peel. These guys are slobs. Hey! I wanted to draw on the board too. Can't hack that, that's level two. I guess this is almost like a hub where I'll need to like come back here with different abilities. For now, let's go back down. Do I take fall damage? Not really. Grab these plants. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do, but I want them. Kleptomaniac inside of me is saying to take them all. Oh, and if we had had uh, leverage, we could have. No, we need leverage two for this. We wouldn't have been in oh number one. There you go. They let you do something no matter what you picked. Turn all the sinks on. Huh. Uh. 
I hit the glue and not the mimic. That's great. And I don't like to play this game. Which one has a which one has a mimic in it? Make sure you always flush. So why did I come in here? Just to flush the toilets? I mean I'm a fan of cleanliness, don't get me wrong, but this doesn't seem like it was very useful. Okay, here we go. This is where I'm supposed to go. Favorites wheel. Eventually we'll get Psy powers, that's cool. Alright, all right, so the next thing we gotta do is we gotta go to the lobby. Alright, cool. So, alright y'all, so if you guys enjoyed this, definitely let me know in the comments and uh, hit the like if you guys want to keep seeing more of this. I don't have any goals or anything like that, obviously, but um, I'm going to keep on playing this and I'm actually, I hope you guys really enjoy watching it too. I know it's, we're a little late to the party, obviously, because it's been a while, but other than this, I think that this game is going to be very fun just from this intro. It's got, got me got me a couple times already <laughs> with the, the mimics jumping out. Can I break this? Nope. All right. But yep, if you guys enjoyed this, my name is JP Fire Pledge. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the part two in the next episode of Prey. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.